Good day from the 65th Annual Cannes Film Festival. I'm Ian Roberts, and I'm presenting to you a program created by Paramax and Mund West, a program entitled Con Echo 2012, in partnership with Screen International. In our program, we have a unique opportunity to take a look into the world of film finance. Through a series of interviews and roundtables, we gain valuable insight from the leaders of the film finance industry and how they are bridging the gap between unique storytelling and the financial resources to make them become a big screen cinematic experience. In this edition of our Con Echo series, we have the opportunity to sit down with Martin Cuff, executive director of the AFCI and his colleagues across the globe in understanding the role of international, national, and regional film commissions. Let's hear what they had to say. My name is Martin Cuff, and I am the executive director of an association called the Association of Film Commissioners International. And collectively, we make up uh, government agencies predominantly who drive economic development from the film industry. The nature of film commissions and, and uh, film agencies that promote uh, the development of economies through film are all very different and we're going to go through the team and discuss exactly how their film commissions are structured and the, the major roles that they play within their own communities. George? Well, our, our main initiative is education and training because the industry in Jordan is at a very uh, uh, it's, it's, it's at the beginner stage, so we concentrate on capacity building. We have an entire department that um, organizes training and educational sessions and courses throughout the year uh, without any uh, uh, accreditation. Uh, one, to identify new talents and skills, and two, to further develop those talents and skills and uh, to have them filter into the industry as it stands. Um, as we grew, we were established in 2003, as we, we grew and as the industry grew, our, our initiatives grew with it. For example, last year we initiated the Jordan Film Fund, uh, which, uh, which is aimed at giving seed money to projects, whether it's uh, feature-length uh, narratives or documentaries and even shorts, and development, of course. Um, uh, writing is also something we concentrate on. Uh, alongside with the Sundance Institute, we've established the Middle Eastern Rawi Screenwriters Lab um, to, to be able to identify, uh, identify and develop and turn into the screen stories from the entire region. George, Jordan doesn't have co-production treaties, right? But you have managed to do some interesting stuff in a co-production format can you tell us a bit about that, how you've managed to reach across the borders and, and work collaboratively? Yes, um, well, one, uh, one example is we are, well, to start off, we are now in negotiations because of the newly established uh, film fund. We are now in negotiations with several uh, countries for co-production treaties. But uh, as, as you stated earlier, there have been uh, um, examples of films that were co-produced. For example, one of those films are Captain Abu Ra'id, which was the first film to come out of Jordan in 50 years. Um, in 2007, it was a co-production between a, 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 a Jordanian production company and a US production company. Um, there was another film called Amrika, uh, which was a co-production between France, actually, and Jordan. Um, so there has been uh, uh, solid examples. We've had actually two uh, uh, recent films which were co-productions with the United Arab Emirates, The Last Friday um, and, and uh, Line of Sight. So the, the, the structure is there. As a combination of how you monetize culture and how you create opportunity for for real people. I mean, Cannes is fantastic, but it's the film industry is about real people and real jobs. Um, and I think that that's what, so thank you for continuing to do what you do and, and help make the economies work in your various places of origin. Thank you for watching our Con Echo 2012 series. 